Hello, this is Andy with Automated Marketer. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the new save and publish feature inside of Go High Level. Let's get started. Go High Level has given us a new feature inside the page builder. It's the save and publish button. Now you're probably used to the save button, but you might be wondering, why there is a publish button. Well, in many corporations and many companies, we don't wanna automatically upload the latest version of the page online. We wanna have some checks and balances. We want the people who are involved in the project to get a good look at the page before it goes online. So now we have the save so we don't lose our work. Of course, we wanna be able to save things, but then the publish when we're finally ready to put that page online. Plus, we may have multiple versions inside of our page that we want to make sure that we see. Now we're going to go over that right now for you. So here we have a standard page that I've built inside of Go High Level. I've done it within the template builder that's already built right inside Go High Level. If you don't know, there's tons of templates that you can use to start your page off and get going. Now, anyway, so as we go through this, we may be doing some edits to the page and there are some certain key factors that we need to look at on here. We have the save button, of course, and the publish button, but it all ties into the version control. If we look at the version control, we can see all the different versions of the page as we've been saving it. As you can see, I have version one, version two, and version three. Just as an example, I changed the picture so you can see it's a little bit different, but each one of these may have a different edit. And a person would go through and they would make sure that everything is correct on this page before they want it published. The key reason that you would want to have these version controls is so someone could check on your work and make sure it is done correctly. And once I've chosen the version that I like the best, I can then publish it exactly as I want. So let's just pretend for this scenario that I'm gonna choose version two, and that's the one I publish. Now I'm gonna click the publish button but something's gonna happen. It's gonna tell me first, I gotta select a domain. Now, I've already preloaded in a domain here. It's called example.rapidactivemarketing.com and I hit save. And what you're gonna notice is there's a little green circle that says live here. That live is the version that is online right now. So in here, we can see once I go to example.rapidactive.com slash home, this is the page that exists. This is the one that is live. Now I can choose to go back to my other tab click on the one with the new picture and hit publish on it right here. And now that one's the one that's live. And if I hit refresh, as you can see, the picture has changed. This is a really cool feature that we will be implementing a lot because we wanna make sure that we have the right version online for people to see. This is a great addition to the family of tools built now inside of Go High Level. It's something that big corporations use all the time in order to make sure that they're able to do checks and balances on the work that has been done. Now we can go back and we can go back to number two and we can hit publish again. And if I refresh the page, you'll see that the picture has changed again. This is a great addition to the tools inside of Go High Level.